a multimillionaire who made his fortune by being a relatable everyman has become one of the most reviled men in America. Former Subway spokesman Jared Fogel now agreeing to plead guilty to shocking charges involving child pornography and underage sex. ABC's Alex Perez has the details. In 1998, I weighed over 425 pounds. Jared Fogel, former Subway spokesperson, was the ultimate weight loss inspiration story. That's how I became half the Jared. But today, a shocking fall from grace. Fogel agreeing to plead guilty to possessing and distributing child pornography. Today, Jared Fogel has been charged and has admitted to participating in a five-year criminal scheme to exploit children. And that's not today, all. Fogel admitted that he repeatedly traveled from Indiana to New York to engage in commercial sex acts with victims he knew to be children. He had sex with a 17-year-old prostitute at New York's most luxurious hotels, the Plaza and the Ritz-Carlton, and then asked her to find him younger underage girls. Let's call this what it is. This is about using wealth status and secrecy to illegally exploit children. Fogel, reportedly worth about 15 million, spoke about his rise to fame to Nightline in 2009. I have the pants, of course. These are the, uh, the, infamous, uh, the infamous jeans that, as I said, have become pretty much more famous than I am. If I, if I don't make an event, it's okay as long as the pants make it. You know? <laughs> he took those pants on the road 200 days a year, speaking to children about nutrition. Everybody needs to make sure they make really, really good healthy decisions every day so they never ever put themselves in a position to have to wear Jared's old pair of pants. Fogel was seen as a family man with a wife and two kids who were proud of his accomplishments. Awesome. Seen What's here in this interview from oh, several years huge. ago. He's put in so much time and effort and we're just so proud of him. Today, she's filing for divorce, saying I am extremely shocked and disappointed by the recent developments involving Jared. Everybody has skeletons in their closet. We present the facade or the mask to the world that either we want to be or that we feel we need to be in order to be accepted. His seemingly picture-perfect life may have started to unravel when Rochelle Herman, a friend of Fogel's, claims she went to the authorities after he made inappropriate comments about middle school girls. He's a monster. Herman says she spent four years recording their conversations for the FBI, and when asked if he admitted to her to having sex with minors, Rochelle told ABC affiliate WWSB. Yes, he did. And from here in the United States to when he was on his international tours um, and then visits to Thailand. The FBI wouldn't confirm her account, and ABC News has so far been unable to reach Fogel's lawyer for comment. A month ago, authorities raided his Indiana home, confiscating cell phones, hard drives, and cameras. You just wouldn't expect it out of a family like that. Just hours after that raid, Subway suspended their relationship with Jared, who in the past few years had become the public face of the sandwich empire. My name is Jared Fogel. Seen here walking in a fashion show for the brand. In a statement today, Subway saying Jared Fogel's actions are inexcusable and do not represent our brand's values. Today, the prosecutors cite seemingly overwhelming evidence. The approximate amount of data reviewed includes 159,634 text messages, 27,140 emails, 47,623 images, in 3,394 videos. Through this thorough investigation, 14 victims were identified. I think he recognized that they had him. They had text messages, they had eyewitnesses, and this was significantly less time than he could have been facing. Today, his attorney saying, He will fully and completely acknowledge his responsibility for his wrongdoing, now, the weight loss king faces anywhere from 5 to 12 years in prison, and prosecutors and Fogel's attorney say that Fogel will pay $100,000 to each of the 14 victims. Even after he serves the time, it is likely there's going to be significant monitoring. He's going to be on a sex registry, so there'll likely be a, a lot of restrictions even after his sentence is served. Fogel isn't the only role model to have a shocking fall from grace.
Stephen Collins, sweet reverend and family man from Seventh Heaven, welcome. allegedly confessed to molesting and exposing himself to multiple underage girls. The confession allegedly secretly recorded by his estranged wife, Faye Grant, during a joint therapy session in 2012 while they were going through a bitter divorce. When you exposed yourself to his 10-year-old sister, did you have an erection? No. I mean, no. Partial, I think. Partial erection? Maybe, yes. The audio recording was obtained by TMZ. Then, in graphic detail, he seems to admit that he did more than just expose. There was one instance. But how did you like? There was one instance what? Well, this isn't a disclosure, and I told you before there was one instance where, for there was one moment of touching, where her hand, I, I put her hand on my penis. You put her hand on. Yes. Collins later made a statement to People magazine saying, 40 years ago, I did something terribly wrong that I deeply regret. I have been working to atone for it ever since. Fans took to social media to express their shock and dismay. On Twitter, Reverend Camden, how could you? I will never be able to watch reruns of Seventh Heaven the same way again. Through branding and popularity, we just see one dimension of them. But that very often isn't who they are. And when the private life really is disturbing, it, it doesn't always come out right away, in part because we want to believe in the image that we're seeing in front of us. As for Jared, today, the image is clear. They're literally dealing with a celebrity who had access, power, and resources to do anything he wanted in the world, but he chose to utilize that to cajole, to convince, and even take advantage of children. For Nightline, I'm Alex Perez in Indianapolis.